We've arrived a little early in Huntington Beach for our next activity, which actually gives us a moment to go over the bikes a bit because it's all kind of going on while we're doing a Go Roughly pilgrimage, by which I mean like setting the bikes up for a big ride. We didn't have these bikes beforehand where we could like set them up for days and weeks and like buy all the gear and try things. So I'm kind of just doing this as we go. So a couple of new elements to the bikes are these. So let's start here. We've got these crash bag bars, uh, tank pannier bags, whatever you want to call these. But these are Rhino Walk. I don't know, like never heard of it before, but it seemed like a thing to try. We always like to give it a go with anything that's got an animal name. So I guess we're on tigers. We've got a rhino here. And so these are six liter bags, waterproof, roll up and down and strap on. And so far, really good. We'll see how these hold up to a crash because I'm sure one is coming soon, <laughs> knowing me. But so far, so good. Now, the next thing is, here's the big question. Is this absolutely perfect or is it overkill? These are the Giant Loop pannier pockets, okay? They're like small pannier tank bag things, just a two, three liters each. Um, there's nothing in it, just air right now. But these are traditionally where I put like treats for Jessica, treats for Moxie, um, and just little odds and ends. And so is it like extra? I don't know, I guess that's uh, for anyone to answer. I find that it's one thing if I'm going to put things in here that I wouldn't otherwise carry, then yes, having more space simply generates like more things that you carry. But if it allows me to carry more comfortably or more in a more organized way, things that I would already carry, then I think it's beautiful and perfect. And it happens to sit just right here.